Do you drive a car? If you do, then you know that the car has several controls that help you navigate it. You have an accelerator that helps you move the car forward. You have a brake which helps you slow down or stop the car to avoid any accidents. And you have the clutch to put your car in an idle mode. Now think of your investment portfolio like a car with controls. And you need all of these controls to navigate your investment portfolio as well. In other words, you need different asset classes to create a diversified investment portfolio which will help you achieve your financial goals. Assets, diversified investment portfolio, what do these words even mean? Assets are instruments that work for you. They help you to grow your money or generate an income for you. Stocks are an example of an asset. Real estate, bonds, gold, these are all examples of assets. Now when you bring these assets to create an investment portfolio, you end up with a portfolio that is now diversified with all these assets. Each asset has a role to play in your investment portfolio, just like each control in a car has a role to play. Stocks are like an accelerator. It grows your money at a fast pace. But as we know, high speed can be dangerous. So like driving a car with only an accelerator makes no sense. Investing in a portfolio with only equity as an asset class also does not make sense. Debt is like the brain. It works with stocks to adjust the speed of your investment portfolio. Whenever the stock market starts behaving irrationally, debt reduces damage to your overall portfolio. Cash is like the clutch. Like the clutch which puts your car in idle mode, cash gives you time to think about what to do next. Finally, gold is the handbrake. This is because gold is considered to be negatively correlated with the stock market. Simply said, when the stock market goes down, the price of gold goes up and again it reduces overall damage to your portfolio. You remember ETFs? Exchange traded funds that help you invest in the stock market passively at a super low cost. Well guess what? These ETFs can help you get exposure to other asset classes like debt and gold as well again at super low cost. So ideally. A bunch of ETFs is all you need to create a diversified investment portfolio. But how much of these assets should be in your investment portfolio? That's like asking, how should you drive your car? Well, that completely depends on the road you're on. If you're investing for a short term, like two or three years, you're driving in a narrow lane. In a narrow lane, you don't need to accelerate a lot. What you really need is precision and braking power. So for short term investing, you need to have a lot of debt, gold and cash in your portfolio and have very little exposure to stocks. On the other hand, if you're investing for a medium term, like say four or five years, it's like you're driving in the city. You don't need to accelerate a lot. You need some acceleration, but not a lot of it. So that can be equivalent to an investment portfolio in which a moderate amount of all assets will work. And lastly, if your investing time horizon is seven or 10 years away, then it's like you're driving on the highway. And the most used control on the highway is an accelerator. You really need to stop or change gears. So when investing for the long term, you should ideally have a portfolio that has good quantities of stocks and low quantities of debt, cash and gold. So when investing for the long term, you should ideally have a portfolio that is heavy on stocks and has little exposure to debt, cash and gold. So let's quickly recap what we've discussed so far. Number one, you need to have a diversified investment portfolio with all asset classes like equity, gold, debt, and cash. Number two, you can get access to all these assets via super affordable ETFs. And lastly, number three, your investment time horizon or investment period would determine how much of these assets should be in your portfolio.